Seen by the naked eye, it looks like dry black sand. But with finer grains, the view changes dramatically under a microscope. You can see the yellow ones in view are mostly olivine. Brown ones are usually glass. White normally means it's plagioclass. And some dark ones are generally pyroxene. Lee said unlike the soil on the Earth's surface, lunar soil has finer grains due to many factors. The environment on the surface of the moon is very harsh. With a temperature difference of about 340 degrees Celsius, the rocks constantly undergo thermal expansion and contraction that results in disintegration. This is one factor. Another factor is that the moon's surface has been hit by many celestial bodies. The impacts may cause the rocks to fragment. Since the moon has no magnetic field, the solar wind can directly bombard the lunar surface, which gradually results in the rocks fragmenting or even powdering. The scientists received samples of dust and rock fragments retrieved from the lunar surface by the Chang'e 5 lander. The landmark mission returned with 1,731 grams of lunar rock and soil. Sun Wenjing, Shanghai.